It's like they want to get hit. Need a body shot? Collision Specialist CSI, two blocks north of I-90 on 218. Hey there, Austin. This is Trey Muse reporting from the Austin Daily Herald, bringing you some of today's top headlines. A Gold Cross ambulance hit a 68-year-old motorcyclist Tuesday morning while trying to turn right from the left lane of East Oakland Place, according to police. Police Chief Brian Krieger said the ambulance was responding to a medical incident without its lights and sirens on bef just before 9 a.m. when the accident happened. The ambulance was traveling eastbound in the left lane on Oakland Place when it attempted to turn right on a 10th drive. The ambulance driver did not see the motorcyclist in the right lane, and the motorcycle struck the front corner of the ambulance. No citations were issued for the accident. Well, let's take it out to Daily Herald reporter Matt Peterson with today's Weather on the Rough. Matt, what's it looking like outside? It's nice, clear skies right now. Uh, however, we do have a little bit of uh, cloud cover on the horizon. Uh, it's a little bit cooler than it was yesterday, so that's good news too. Uh, today's high should see 91 degrees, still pretty warm out. Uh, however, a cold front is expected to move in this afternoon, uh, which will drop the temps down a little bit. Tomorrow will be partly sunny with a high of 69, and storms should come into the area starting tomorrow night and continuing through Friday. But it shouldn't be severe weather, the National Weather Service says. Let's take it back inside to Trey. Thanks, Matt. Next Tuesday, Austin Hyvee plans to open the doors to a one-of-a-kind coffee shop and let the customers flood in. Caribou Coffee and the majority of the new Hyvee gas station will open for the first time at 5.30 a.m. on June 14th. While Caribou Coffee kiosks are common in Hyvee stores, the two companies have never paired to attach the coffee shop itself to a Hyvee. And finally, all that fundraising paid off for Austin High School students. National Honor Society students donated $2,114 to Habitat for Humanity of Freeborn and Mauer Counties after raising the money in about five hours last month through their annual homeless fundraiser. The donation marks the fifth year NHS students have raised money for the local HFH chapter, as well as the most money raised yet. Well, that's it for today's top headlines. For more news about your community and your town, please go to AustinDailyHerald.com. For the Daily Herald, I'm Trey Muse, saying that's the way it is today.